Habits shape every aspect of our lives, our productivity, health, and even our success. From the moment you wake up to how you end your day, these routines are constantly at work, often without us realizing it. The exciting part? Once you understand how habits operate, you can harness their power to make lasting changes. In this book, The Slight Edge by Jeff Olson, you'll discover how small, consistent habits can transform your life. The key isn't about achieving instant results, but rather mastering the art of daily progress. Whether you're looking to improve your health, grow in your career, or reach personal goals, the principles in this book offer a straightforward path to success. This audiobook summary will show you how the tiniest actions, repeated over time, can lead to massive results. By the end of it, you'll understand how to apply this powerful philosophy to your own life and unlock the secret edge that sets successful people apart. Keep listening, because what you're about to learn could be the turning point in your journey. The author of this book, Jeff, had two friends. These two were so close that separating them seemed impossible. From playing together in childhood to preparing for assignments and exams in college, they did everything together. When it came to skills and intelligence, there wasn't much difference between them. However, as time went on, they chose different paths for their lives. The first friend didn't score well in college and eventually dropped out. He began spending his time wandering aimlessly, mostly hanging out on the beach. People started calling him Gorgeous George. On the surface, it seemed like he was enjoying life, but in reality, he was struggling financially. To make ends meet, he had to juggle multiple jobs at once. Eventually, he became frustrated with this lifestyle and tried to start a business, but even that venture failed. On the other hand, his friend performed exceptionally well in college. He secured a job at a big tech firm, earned a good income, and achieved success in his career. You could say that he was living the opposite life of his friend. Despite these differences, they remained in touch. Do you know why? Because these two friends were, in fact, the same person, Jeff himself. There was a time when Jeff had dropped out of college due to poor grades and spent his time wandering around, doing odd jobs here and there. One day, while working as a lawnmower at a golf club, he saw wealthy people dressed in expensive clothes carrying luxury golf equipment. This sight stirred something inside George. He started feeling restless, thinking about how unfair life seemed. While he struggled to make ends meet, there were people out there making money effortlessly. Filled with frustration, George made a decision. He promised himself that no matter what, he would make something of himself. He returned to college, changed his habits, and started performing well. Soon, his grades improved significantly, and he even topped his class. You might think this was the happy ending, but his story didn't end there. Although George landed a high-paying managerial job at a major tech company, Texas Instruments, he began to hate the internal politics that came with it. So, he decided to quit and start his own business. He launched a solar energy company, despite having no prior knowledge of the industry. But George showed determination and didn't quit halfway. Slowly, his company started performing well, first in his state and eventually across the country. But George never imagined that after such a long journey, he would end up back where he started. Times were changing, and the solar energy industry was collapsing, and one day, George's company failed too. As George reflected on his journey, he realized how he had gone from wandering aimlessly to finding a burning desire to succeed, becoming a manager, then a successful business owner, only to end up back at the starting point. 
This flashback made him realize that whether you're drifting through life or living as a millionaire depends on the small, everyday actions you take. Do you know what caused his failure? The reason was that he had stopped doing the small things that had initially made him successful. Imagine George was deep underwater in the ocean. As he was swimming upwards, just when he was about to reach the surface, he suddenly stopped swimming. Naturally, he would start sinking again. This is the same problem people face. At some point, they stop taking action. Once we feel like we are becoming successful, we stop doing the things that got us there in the first place. We work less and we become careless. George's story serves as a reminder of this. The actions that help us achieve success in life are simple and easy. In the beginning, they might seem insignificant or even pointless, but over time, these small steps compound, improving our skills and setting us apart from others. This is what the slight edge is all about, the advantage we have that makes us better than the rest. We tend to overlook easy, small actions, thinking they don't matter, but in the long run, these are the very things that lead to extraordinary results. So, let's now discover what these small actions are. After George's business collapsed, he joined a direct marketing firm and later started a personal development training company called The People's Network, TPN. TPN produced several television programs that provided the public with valuable information on a variety of topics. Their goal was to help people improve their lives by delivering useful advice. People followed their guidance with great hope and trust, but to their surprise, they didn't see the benefits they expected. But why was that? The reason was simple. When people followed the advice and didn't see immediate results, they gave up halfway. This is a common problem. We often expect instant outcomes, but just wanting something isn't enough to get it. For that, you need the first ingredient. The first ingredient to improving your life is your philosophy about life, how you think about life and the perspective you hold. If the way you view things isn't working for you, then it's time to change your outlook. If you don't change your way of thinking, no matter how many self-help books you read, nothing will make a difference. Simply knowing the steps won't bring results. How you apply them is what truly matters. In other words, the mindset behind your actions is what helps you achieve your goals. Sometimes, when we see someone inspiring, or hear encouraging words from a friend, we feel a burst of motivation. In that moment, our outlook changes, which is a good thing because it helps us see the right path. But the problem is, this motivation doesn't last long. Our emotions shift quickly, and we often find ourselves back where we started. For example, you tell yourself that starting today, you'll lose weight. This thought motivates you and you begin your day with exercise. However, since emotions are temporary, chances are that after a few days, you might not feel like working out anymore. To maintain this motivation, you need the help of a factor, your perspective. The way you see things influences you in different ways, creating a chain reaction. If your perspective is positive, your actions will be positive, and in turn, you will get positive results. Let's return to the weight loss example. If your attitude is positive, even if you feel lazy or your body aches, you'll keep exercising with the positivity that once you lose weight, your body and lifestyle will become much healthier. You'll start eating healthy instead of junk food, and instead of staying up late binge watching Netflix, you'll value how important sleep is for your body. This will help you wake up early, which will ultimately boost your productivity. If you want to stand out from the crowd and get that slight edge, understand that there are no shortcuts to success. You can only achieve it through hard work and 
by continuously improving your skills. Once upon a time, there was a king who lived with his two sons. The king had grown old and felt that death could knock on his door at any moment. So he called his sons and offered them a gift. The condition was that they had to choose between one million dollars and a single dollar. The decision was theirs to make. If they chose the million dollars, they would receive it from the royal treasury. But if they chose the single dollar, it would be handed over to them under the supervision of the royal treasurer, who would double the amount daily until further orders from the king. When the sons arrived, the king said, Think carefully, and when you are sure about your choice, come back to me. That night, the elder son was lost in thought, unsure of what to choose. Meanwhile, the younger son had already made up his mind. He wanted the million dollars the moment he heard about it. The next day, the younger son chose the million dollars and hired some experts to help him turn his money into a billion. He spent weeks in an expensive hotel with his team, strategizing how to make the best use of his fortune. On the other hand, the elder son chose the single dollar. The younger son felt pity for his brother and offered him some money but the elder brother refused. He said that his single dollar was steadily growing. On the first day, he had one dollar, and by the twenty-first day, it had grown to six hundred and fifty-three dollars thirty-five cents. The younger brother couldn't stop laughing at what he thought was his elder brother's foolishness and offered him money again. Once again, the elder brother smiled and declined. By the end of the month, the younger son was broke. His investments hadn't paid off, and he had recklessly spent vast amounts on the hotel and expert fees. While he started the month with a million dollars, he ended it deep in debt. Meanwhile, the elder son's one dollar had grown to a staggering eleven million dollars. Just like these two sons, you also have a choice in life, not between a million and a dollar, but in how you choose to invest or save your money. Now you might ask, is this easy to do? The answer is, yes, it's incredibly easy. But is it just as easy not to do? Again, yes. Often, things that are easy to do are also easy to overlook because people think, what difference will this small action make? But that's where their thinking is wrong because these small actions are what bring about the changes that lead to big success. Imagine you and your friend both read this book. After reading it, your friend decides to save $250 a month so that he can live comfortably after retirement. On the other hand, you think, I have my whole life to save. Now is the time to enjoy. You keep postponing your decision to save year after year. Twenty years later, your friend tells you that by the time he retires, he'll have at least half a million dollars saved. Then there's you, who hasn't saved a single penny. Although there's a saying, better late than never, and it's true, you can still start saving. The time you've lost is something you can't get back. Waiting too long can cost you dearly. When you make the right decisions at the right time, even small, Simple actions pull you toward success. But if you miss out on this, those same small missed actions lead to failure. This is exactly what happened to you and your friend. Your friend consistently took the small action of saving little by little, and it eventually grew into millions. You, on the other hand, consistently took the action of not saving, which left you with nothing for retirement. If you fail to understand the profound impact of small habits, they can become the reason for your downfall. Mastering the Slight Edge Mastery in any area should not be seen as the ultimate goal, because for Jeff, mastery is not about reaching the end. It's about embracing the commitment to stay on the path you've chosen. Mastery is not something you achieve in a day, it's a daily effort. 
These small actions gradually improve your habits and skills, bringing you closer to achieving whatever you want in life. And it all starts with one small step. Think about when we were young. Did we start walking right away? No, not at all. First, we crawled on our knees watching others walk around us. After many attempts, we finally learned to walk. We tried to stand by holding on to something. And even though we were wobbly, we didn't stop trying. We fell countless times, got hurt, but nothing could stop us from trying to learn how to walk. Jeff says that the moment you decide to take that first step, you've already won half the battle. We may not remember when we first tried to walk, but it was undoubtedly challenging for us. We were either crawling or being carried by adults, yet it never crossed our minds to stop trying to walk. Back then, we didn't say, I've tried so many times, but I keep falling. What's the point of trying anymore? After all, there are adults to carry me. The first step is always the hardest, but with practice, you master it. It's all about improving your skills. Here's an interesting thought. We could say that all children are successful. They may stumble and fall, but they eventually learn to walk because they never stop trying. And this persistence is what makes the difference between success and failure. Sadly, as we grow older, we start losing faith in ourselves. We begin to believe that small actions don't matter. Have you ever thought about what would happen if children decided they would never be able to walk and just stopped trying? Children naturally understand that by practicing walking every day, they will eventually be able to walk like adults without stumbling. They know that simple, small efforts, like continuing to try even after falling, will lead them to success. But as we grow up, our mindset turns negative and we easily accept failure, pushing ourselves further away from success. Have you ever wanted something so badly that it started to hurt? When we dream of something, it causes pain because it reminds us that we don't yet have it. For example, if you want to be fit, it means you currently aren't, and this truth can be painful. So, how do you get rid of this pain? The answer is, by closing the gap between who you are and who you want to become. You can either forget your desires and erase the pain, or you can use that pain to inspire yourself so that in the end, you emerge as a winner. Cultivate slight edge habits. When approached thoughtfully, habits can become your best friend. The more you repeat an action, the more it becomes automatic and turns into a habit. Here are seven habits that will help you not only become successful, but stay successful. Habit 1. Show up. When Jeff's daughter Amber started college, she was extremely nervous. There was an orientation event to welcome the new students, and 67,000 students were set to join. The college dean informed them that their GPA averaged around 4.0 and their SAT scores ranked in the top 10% nationwide. Amber told her dad how scared she was and that she wanted to stay ahead of her peers. Jeff said that by showing up to college and attending the orientation, she had already completed half the journey toward performing better than the best. Habit 2. Be consistent. Jeff explained to Amber that simply attending the event meant she had achieved 80% of her success, and to make it 100%, she needed to attend college regularly. It wasn't just about attending classes. She also needed to dedicate two hours every day to studying. Three weeks later, Amber told Jeff that out of 400 students, only 80 were consistently attending class. But Jeff told her, don't focus on others. Stick to your decision. Amber continued to attend class daily, and the once nervous girl ended up surprising everyone by topping her class. The reason? She adopted two simple habits, attending college every day and studying for two hours, as her father suggested. Habit 3. 
Maintain a positive attitude. Many studies have shown that having a positive mindset helps you achieve your goals. When you face a problem, instead of seeing it as a setback, view it as an opportunity to learn something new. Having a positive attitude doesn't mean you'll always be happy. You will experience moments that will bring you pain, but a positive outlook gives you hope and the courage to overcome challenges. You'll come out of those experiences with valuable lessons. Habit 4. Commit to staying the course. Do you remember when we talked about philosophy? This habit is similar. No matter how many motivational talks you hear, you won't execute your work properly unless the drive comes from within. Just like farmers wait an entire season to harvest their crops, you too must stick to your work with patience and dedication to achieve what you desire. Habit 5. Develop a deep desire with unwavering belief. It's not enough to simply want something. You must channel that desire in the right direction. When you set out to achieve something, you need to have a firm belief that you will reach your destination. Your confidence and trust in yourself are key to driving your actions forward. Habit 6. Understand that nothing comes for free. In this world, everything comes with a price. And sometimes, you'll need to make sacrifices to reach your dreams. This doesn't mean you need to make huge or dramatic changes in your life. This book is all about taking small, simple actions. You may need to make minor adjustments, like spending a little less time playing and more time studying or giving up your favorite pastry to lose weight. These small sacrifices will help you achieve your goals. Habit 7. Do everything with honesty and integrity. One of the strengths of this book is its focus on simple, small actions. However, the challenge lies in the fact that these steps are so small that you might be tempted to overlook them. That's why you need to follow these small steps with absolute honesty and consistency. For example, set aside two hours each day for studying or commit to reading ten pages of a book every day. Small but consistent actions lead to big results. Conclusion. To achieve your goals and become successful, you don't need to take big, bold actions. Often we get trapped in the mindset that great success requires taking big risks and making huge decisions. But that's where we go wrong. It's the small decisions that truly change our lives, even if they don't seem significant at first. Over time, these small choices become the foundation of our success. In this book, you've learned about the power of making small, simple actions every day. If adopted early, these small steps lead you toward greater success. No matter how much knowledge you have, if you don't change the way you think, you won't be able to use that knowledge effectively. The beauty of these simple actions is that they are easy to do, but they become difficult because we often overlook their importance without realizing their value. So start paying attention to the small things. If you truly want to achieve something, you must believe that even the smallest steps matter. These small actions cultivate discipline, which is key to success. It's these little things that give us the advantage, the slight edge, that sets us apart and keeps us ahead of others. Even our simple, productive decisions bring significant benefits. As the saying goes, drop by drop, the bucket fills. In the same way, small actions, over time, bring about big changes and extraordinary results. As you've learned from the slight edge, success doesn't come from one big leap. It comes from the small, consistent steps we take every day. It's about adopting simple habits that might seem insignificant at first, but over time create extraordinary results. Whether it's your health, career, relationships, or personal growth, the power to change lies in your daily choices. Now, the question is, 
What will you do with this knowledge? Will you start paying attention to the small actions that can shape your future? Remember, it's not about instant transformation, but about steady progress. The slight edge is always working, either for you or against you. The choice is yours. Thank you for listening to this audiobook summary. If you're ready to apply these ideas to your life and unlock your own potential, start today with one small action. That's all it takes to begin your journey toward lasting success.